Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some pretty cool purchases that I've made. The diversity isn't gonna quite be there uh, for a little while just because of some of these purchases that I'm making. And uh, we may open up a few things at the very end. We'll see how much time we have. I got some of these and I uh, might open up a few of them. That was from another video that was uh, recorded a little while back. But first I'm gonna start off with a, a trade. Rusty, thanks for making this trade happen. I get to add another piece to the seal collection, enjoy the box, my friend, and I'm glad I was able to help. This is Pokey Hoarder, that's his IG. And we traded, it was a Gym Heroes first edition box, and a uh, it was the Lava theme deck for, I got a first edition Team Rocket booster box, plus a little bit of cash, and then for the Lava, I got this black and white Plasma Freeze box. I mean, there was a good trade uh, I believe on the upside value for that and this has actually already been traded away I think I'm trading it for a it's a boundaries crossed plus a neo rev first ed pack so gonna get multiple items on that one but I figured the neo rev pack could be something that could be just either sold off later on or, or later on with the box or maybe even uh, just like an incentive but who knows maybe we'll trade it out to if we can't include it in the deal but for sure, definitely, I think that's going to be a trade-up value as well. And let's see what else we have here. So thank you, Pokey Hoarder, for that. I made a few small purchases. I got this bilingual executor. Uh, this is the glossy version. It's not, you know, super rare. Uh, not the um, the trophy one that I'm looking to get. But I thought it was a nice addition. Over here we have some codes. This is actually from another video where I forgot to show you guys the codes. So those should be good to go. Next up, I have a Feraligator. This is from Expedition. Got this from Card House. And this guy still hasn't received his stuff from the Venusaur trade. He's being very, very patient. Next up, let's see if I can get it over here. We've got, hey Rusty, big fan of the content and appreciate all you do for the community. I included in an incredibly poor condition, write you first edition error. Try to find the first edition stamp. And a random hollow thing for you. Didn't know what to get. The man with seemingly everything Pokemon. Hope you think the error is cool. Lost Pokemon stuff. eBay. So here's the little uh, coin. It's almost like uh, you got the unknown stuff on there, but it kind of reminds me of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Like with the Millennium Puzzle for some reason. You can kind of see Pichu and Pikachu, or Pichu Brothers and Pikachu in there. So that's really neat. And the uh, error he's talking about is this Raichu. Now, if you look down here at the bottom, there's a first edition stamp. And when I saw this, I knew exactly what, exactly what it was. Because back in the day, there was a Tentacruel that was rumored to have a first edition stamp in that same spot. And when I finally got one, I was like, I, this is a fake. So if we take this out, if, you, if we held it up to light, you'd be able to tell that it was a fake card by how translucent it is. In fact, let me see if I can get my phone from the flashlight. Like, it's way more translucent than a regular card. So it's, it's not actually... A real card but it is a fake that was uh, done quite often like you can see I mean even from back here you can see the full Pokemon Pokeball and everything and another dead giveaway without having to shine the light is this was actually ripped so you can see down here there's no black strip there's no black strip blue black strip or whatever you want to call it for the middle layer which all Pokemon cards have but it's still really neat I'm gonna stick it in my counterfeit binder kind of records a little bit of history for you so thank you so much, Lost Pokemon stuff. Next up, we have a Shining Kabutops. Man, I bought this thing back in March. And it's just taking forever to get here. I mean, it's, what, middle June, middle of June? And this was from Australia. I was trying to be patient with the guy because I know that most everything going in and out, you know, between the United States and Australia has been severely delayed. And I know this because I sell a lot of stuff to Australia. And then the highlight of this video is an even Pokemon. It is... A Black Lotus. This is Alpha. Many of you know that I've been working on an Alpha set for quite some time. I haven't been pursuing it too hard, just picking up cards where I can. This one was a major piece. It's the it's the piece to have in Magic the Gathering and really in, in trading card trading cards, you know, in general. Like this is the Charizard first edition base set of Magic, and Magic was out right at six years before Pokemon. It came out in 1993. Alpha, the Black Lotus is pretty much the most powerful card that was ever created. And uh, I mean, it's like basically having a, a triple colorless energy, but for every color. So think of it that way. You got your DCE, which is two colorless energies. This would represent 
three energies of any color and it costs nothing to lay down so really cool really powerful card and uh we do have a little bit of time, so I'm going to open up a few of these. I got this from Collector's Cash. There's not many places I would buy one of these from, and they are one of them. Check it out. Detective Pikachu. SM190, and we got the Magikarp. Very cool. Actually, uh, he, Beamer, he flew in from Kansas, and I met him down at the airport. I think it was the first time I'd ever been to an airport, like a... That airport that was functional, anyways, and uh, that was that was a neat experience. I, I don't like driving in big cities. I mean, I'm fine with traffic. I like the weave and stuff, but I just don't like the traffic itself. Oh, a Yoda! Wonder if that's uh, wait, that's a Mega Yoda. It's a holographic Mega Yoda. Man, that's pretty cool. Got All Stars. Got Team Spartacus or Sp Spartatist. Separatist, Team Separatist, <laughs> Spartacus. Uh, not sure what that one is. And then a Wing Star Starfire, the Yoda, definitely. Big card there. All right, check out Fortnite. What do we have here? Dynamo. Oh, it's flipped the other way. Uh, don't know. Maybe some. Maybe I'm supposed to be looking in this this direction. I don't even know what that is. I've never played Fortnite. Looks like some woman, some airplanes with a dude hanging off the backside. That's pretty cool. That looks fun. And uh, some other dude. Sorry, guys, for those of you who play Fortnite, I don't know much about it. Sticking with a Yoda. That's my favorite pull so far. I don't even know that much about uh, Star Wars, really. Harry Potter. I've watched Harry Potter a few times for sure. Time out. Research. Mopsis Potion, Clean Sweep 7, Stream of Flames, Searching for the Snitch, Got Charms, Quidditch, Hufflepuff and Match, In the Stands, Seamus Finnegan. I don't remember him. I don't remember Seamus Finnegan. I feel like I recognize the name. Alright, come on. Let's get a hollow. Hey, another timeout. Got Swarm gone. Practice match. Rope bind. Searching for the snitch again. Got Lesson. Another Quidditch. Petrificus Totalis. Remember that one. Defendo. And Nimbus 2000. There we go. It's probably the rare, right? Gotta be. Yeah. Got the star on it. One more. Here we go. Come on. Give me just a hollow. Bruise Wart Bomb. Swarm again. Research. Clean Sweep 7 again. Drowsiness dropped. Timeout. Third time. Quidditch. Third time. Potions. Missing Parchment. In the stands. And Trevor. Alright, well that was pretty cool watching or getting to see that kind of stuff open up. I haven't really opened it up in a while. Yoda, definitely the, the top pull, I would say. Hologram. And it's a mega Yoda. <laughs> Gotta mean something, right? Rarity scale 39. I'm not really sure what that means. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a decent mix there. But uh, we'll have some more videos out soon. I'm working on some big collections. Thanks.